Holy shit, it's on Netflix now. We're gonna watch a bad movie. We watched a good movie, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Kiri. Uh, so, Jim, we've been MS3TKing movies uh, <laughs> recently. So, you know, MS3TK. Uh, yeah, so, I know that. I love that scene. Yeah, so we've been doing that kind of. That's what we were doing while we were watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. We were talking about it. I was pointing out that it's basically a slasher flick scenario, which again is another reason why I want to fucking run slasher flick. That Tucker and Dale is basically a slasher flick scenario where the, you know, the three players, their main characters are Tucker, Dale, and the college girl, Allison. Mm-hmm. That that's that's what they are, and then all the secondary characters are well, all the other NPCs or all the other kid, college kids that get murdered off, and then the sheriff also. That's what they are. They're secondary characters. Like, oh, I have my secondary characters are the black friend and the black and the slut. Oh, and then there's the one person that's the guy that's going to keep the antagonization going so we don't just solve the issue with the GM playing. So he's technically the killer. Chad, our buddy. And then it just at the end, Chad turns into be the full-out actual killer. And... Yeah, slasher flick, and the party wins because yeah. Uh, anyways, this is a bad movie. Uh, we got uh, it's bad in every way you can think of, uh, and then some in other ways too. It's also only three years old, and we're gonna have a character. It's gonna be super nineties, just like Alpha and Omega as an RPG. Uh, it's also got another lovely issue. Besides being super 90s and violent and dark, like it says, it's also got a character that quotes Mein Kampf. So, yay! We get a woman that quotes Nazis. Uh, we Literal Nazis, not figurative, literal, set 300 years in the future... In Arizona, uh, this is, by the way is supposed to take place in Arizona. The actual video footage was done in New York during um, a very heavy snowstorm that happened hit the area, so they didn't have to. Yeah, sorry, 141 years. Uh, also, God's dead. So 141 years, which still puts that as like 160. You know. Yeah, it, it's like, wow. Yeah, it's like, it won't end for another million. Oh yeah, sure, it's an ice age. Except, how? Why? Yeah. And it's the Arizona Federation, and there's only 2,109 people alive in Arizona. Like, that's more dead people than Thanos' snap took out. Question mark? Because Thana, well, think about the population of Arizona. It's several million. So there would still be, you know, a few million left after Thanos snapped them. In this setting, there's only 2,000 humans left. And we have replicants. You know, replicants like from Blade Runner. Because again, we need to go all the cyberpunk. So we got post apocalypse, we got cyberpunk tropes, we got. Uh, robots that rebel against their human masters and are all these naked buff dudes and murder the shit out of people. (laughs) If the moment that just pops up on screen, they're just two guys in boxers, white boxers, that are just covered in gray spray paint running at you. The moment you see that as a shot in your movie, you question everything you're doing. Also, they're called noise. And wait, wait, that airsoft gun, that dangerous airsoft gun, We're going all black and white with the noids because they're. Uh, also, there's trees. 
So it's clearly got some melt water and other stuff that makes it so that life is habitable. Yet it's like, oh, this is ice age has been around for three. Uh, yeah. But we got all these classic cyberpunk traits. And this is five years after that robot got away. And we got our fembots. I mean, again, that's the thing. So we have, we have, they're called workers slash noids, and they're, you know, they're basically the workforce that supplies the 2,000 humans slash our sex bots and other things. Because, of course, you make your sex bots look hot, and then you make your other half of your robots look like giant jacks naked dudes that are actually jacked. I was wondering what what the the call was all about. It's the include chip. Uh, uh, work. Also, we're we're talking about the drug of choice in the twenty first century. And then this guy's like, it's the world's greatest achievement. Yeah, yeah. You can already see how edgy we're going. Man's greatest achievement is this drug that numbs my pain. Mm, I suffer so hard. I'm dark and edgy and mysterious. Of course, we named our main character Bishop. Yep. And he's dealing with robots, which are, in a way, reborn humanity. And he's lost his faith in the system. And he... And, and, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget the best part. He was the best. No, he is the best. It's always the guys that are, like, the best to do these things. Why can't it be like the guys that are like middle of the pack that maybe? I mean, that's kind of the thing. Also, he's thirty-two and he's five ten, so he's not that big. I mean, he's slightly above average, but yeah. Also, they sent in security because Bishop may be having an overdose in psychotic psychotic break. Where you're wettest. <laughs> Somebody wrote that. That is a line. Also, this looks like the worst rave ever. Slash worst opium den. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the land of scum and villainy. Also, these guys are sent in here to grab him for duty. And I love that giant handlebar mustache. Oh! Also, taser knuckles.
You just tasered me, of course not. Do call me sir, call me madame. How much more edgy 90s slash grimdark can we get? Very, a lot more. I mean, we've already gotten a quarter 40k. And it's already incredibly stupid. If we go any further into that rabbit hole, who knows what's up. <gasps> oh my goodness. Good to see you back in uniform, Bishop. Classic military jargon. Which is in Bundaberga. Broke every oath. That took a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Your wife was a good woman. It's really tough to come by those. Yeah, well. We found the robot that killed your wife. So, the robot performed a C-section and kidnapped his baby. And you'll yes. find your daughter. That or that's at least what the commander is claiming. So, you know, we've, we've gotten the edginess of his wife's dead, his daughter's kidnapped, and more. Also... Wait, you believe the commander that your daughter's alive? And wait, if there's the DNA enhancements that let you survive on the ice, then why don't you use those to live on the ice? Maybe it, only some people can survive it? Well, they talk about this it? thing called isolation gel that lets you survive several days in the ice, and it's supposed to be like sub 60 degrees. But that still makes me have the question of. If you can make this gel, why don't you make it permanent? And or if it's a DNA enhancement that can make you survive longer, why not make and improve that? You've had 300 years or 150. Which is it? You've said God was dead 150 years ago, but you've implied the storm's been going on for 300. Slave police. Now are you slaves as police or are you slave or police slavers? Ah oh, shit, I gotta go. I just looked at the time. I gotta go. Be no, Chip, stay, stay. I gotta go, I can't. No, stay. You gotta watch the bad movie. What's the movie called? Winter's Dream twenty three oh seven. Didn't See, they do a I mean, mystery science theater about that. No, they haven't. This is ex. Again, this is too new. Like that's the problem. It's oh. that new. That's. That's just that just makes what I've seen so far even more disappointing. This came out in 2016. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> rage quit. No, I gotta go. But yeah, this. God help. You gotta come back, Jib. Come back to us. Don't abandon us now.
That robot's been wanted for numerous crimes against the Federation. It's not considered human. So they have four days to live. How do you know how many wet dreams she's had? Yeah, maybe you should be doing drugs, dude. Also. Also, she's talking about murdering this guy in front of him. Like, it's going to happen and she's going to have to knife him and gut him. Like, <coughs> what the fuck? Edgy as shit, lady. Yep. And he's got more kills than you do. Oregon blasters, sonic grenades, fire, 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 every nice ice cube in the dead zone. Also, we get reference to a meteor strike. <laughs> what? Is that what caused the snowpocalypse? Did it basically produce enough ash that it blotted out the sun? Did it like hit Yellowstone and cause the super volcano to go off? And then he requests normal guns besides the magnetic ones. And everybody's vaping. Yep. I guess it's the future. This is why vaping should be banned. It'll turn us into this. Also, yeah. One of the most hellish deserts has become a frozen death plane. Yay. And as you saw, the girl had a copy of Mein Kampf, which she's going to quote from. Eventually. Uh, well, we are celebrating his birthday today. Yep. This is a bad movie. I'm just surprised it's now on Netflix. It wasn't last time we were trying to watch it. Also, wait, you have four days to survive with the insulation gel, but you're in a car. Wouldn't that help? Of course, Bishop's got a giant ass knife. And that guy's like, I got a cool mask. And the girl's using spinning tobacco. So the racist is like, I don't need enhancements, I'm better than you. We also got a Jamaican guy 300 years after the apocalypse, or 150 years after the apocalypse. Well, 
We're your devil dogs, Bishop. God, this is just so pretentiously edgy and everything. Oh yeah, night vision goggles in the middle of the day. They're probably thermal vision of some sort, actually. Or just the green tints there because stupid. I kidnapped your baby! Also, I just want to put out the, the, the commander called Bishop, your daughter's been kidnapped and we can only let you survive for four days up top. She's been gone for five years. Also, that robot's fishing. With a bone. Also, it's the Arizona Federation, as though Arizona became its own nation, because that makes sense. Show your genome documentation, robot! Show that you belong here, and that you're not an escape robot from our slave pits. Flares, he's waving. She just decides to say fuck it and open fire. God, that gun is super inaccurate. Man, the recoil on those, you know, laser guns. Also, we got a guy named Ishmael. God, those sci-fi guns. <laughs> those are stupid designs. I mean, the the most realistic one, which is basically an SMG, makes at least sense. It's got a high bar, so you can easily scope with it. That actually makes sense, which is the guy in the front. But then everyone else's guns look stupid. It's like, even then, that, that weird laser Uzi still has issues, and... Shooting into water with a laser gun is not going to do anything. If it's a plasma gun, it's still not going to be very effective. And then robot drags him into the fucking ocean. <laughs> or lake. In the middle of a desert. I want to point out that this is supposed to be in the middle of like the Arizona desert, now frozen over. With fish in it, so that means animals are surviving. And... Severe freezer burn. I'm guessing that that taser thing is to stop it from your arm being frozen off because it's that cold. But if it's that cold, it's how liquid. are the fish surviving? But it's liquid. I mean, frozen water can be. Uh, I'm sorry, rather. Water can be colder than freezing because of the salt content. Uh, also, the robots blew up their car. Uh, for example, Kiri. Um, 
uh, Europa, the you know the moon, it has an that, ocean we know, which is underneath the ice. Water. No, it's ice and water. You're thinking of Titan, where it's uh, methane, I believe. Uh, you know, Europa is is o is H two O, H two O. You know, good old water. It's just that it's so salty and then under such pressure from all the ice on top of it. You know, like the kilometers of ice that it isn't freezing, and we've been able to study this. And this is one of the things that scientists really want to get over to because because of those unique circumstances. That means that there could be a bunch of microbial life underneath Europa that could be really interesting to study. But, yeah, that same principle applies to the Arctic. There's a lot of salt water in the Arctic that is actually colder than freezing because of the fact that the salt, you know, salt helps you melt ice. So, what does that mean? It keeps it from freezing. Exactly. And how salty is the ocean? Pretty salty. Yeah, that's why, you know, uh, that's why all the ice that's, you know, in the Arctic is fresh water. Because it's, you know, stuff that's been freezing and the ice leaches out of it. Well, it doesn't leach out of it, but the same principle. God. Is this what Seawall thinks that global warming is going to do? But it's going to be in, like, some million years. Uh, I'm still amazed that he doesn't realize just how big of an impact we have on our environment. The planet's temperature doesn't rise one degree in under a century. The literal times when it, when it has changed so rapidly in any degree, shape, or form has been the type of stuff that is near catastrophic. And those were over like thousands of years like hundreds of thousands of years of course then there's dumb people that don't understand and thought uh, that thought Greenland was Vineland and thought the Vikings grew grapes and it's like no they got to North America and they found berries that they turned into wine also yeah how cold is it like they mentioned it's sub 60 but is that the average we don't we're given the thing of it, it's a frozen hell land, but how much of it's frozen hell land? How cold is it? It's cold enough that it can kill humans, but you don't have to be that cold to kill humans. I mean... We need a lot of padding to survive some of our climate that we live in.
But yeah, we've already killed one of the guys and... That, yeah, that's not good. He's not long for this world. These are all supposed to be really badass and competent people, but they're all getting their asses kicked. And it's all like, oh, it's horrible. It, this is a. Uh huh. They're competent. Look at that. Like, also, this is a normal person. You can tell because he's not gray. Or is he gray? I can't really tell because he's covered in so much fucking padding. Is he annoyed or is he a guy with sharpened teeth? And he just I think it's a guy with sharpened that... teeth. Yeah. Dog face? And he's now going to martial arts fight him because he's been given gene mods to make him super strong. And then the Jamaican guy's like, you fucked with the wrong gangster. And they've lost, what, two of their own? Yep. Blood Blot Soap. Also, really recording, you know, I love the taste of napalm in the morning. Also, then the guy just pops back up and she miniguns him. And the guy that's on the ground that has a... Oh, he's still alive! The bitch and throat guy. I guess they can save him? So did they lose anybody in this entire encounter? Or is this just a random fight scene? Like a bad movie randomly includes where there's no impact. Electricals are... God, she's the smarmy brat. So that was a pleasure robot. So somebody gave a pleasure robot uh, sharp teeth or something. Or that's a mutated human or something. It, yeah, because like they called it a mutated human, yet they also just scanned it and said it was a pleasure robot. Ah, symbols all man edgy. I was wondering where you went. I'm here. I didn't go anywhere. But in the dead zone, the ice is merciless. Also, we have no car, which greatly reduces our land speed. Look, that car is probably built for the cold. So yeah. it also gave him warmth. Well, I'm just gonna point out that a car can basically go what a human can walk in one hour. Uh, you know, what a, what a human walks in... What? Uh, how far do humans walk in a day? Maybe 24 hour, twenty four miles. It's, it's not really that. Quick. It's closer to 30. Because uh, you can technically walk to New York. It just will take you the better part of two weeks, three weeks, but yeah. So that's, you know, 30 miles a day or something. Because uh, it's based on the average land speed, which we get is like two or three miles an hour, blah, 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 complicated math. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that means a car gets twice that in one hour. And even if it's like inclement weather, the car can still get, you know that in one hour. And humans, thanks to our endurance stuff, can only get reduced to 50, maybe 75 percent of our movement speed in inclement weather.
<laughs> it's one of those complicated things of math. And we're at the Arizona Federation something. Hey, a bow! Why are you saying that like it's a bad thing? Also, you're complaining about a bow. Um, if it's a hundred miles, that is, you know, three days. You guys have been out here for one day, so that basically means that your thermal gel wears off at that point. So then you start. Dying. Dying. At least that shotgun makes sense. Embrace the suck. Also, God, she's a smarmy brat. I mean, here's a question though. If these are robots that can mutate, I guess they're technically androids, so they're biological and complicated. I guess. But like I said, it's pretty much Marines versus Mutant Song. I mean, they're they're intelligent though. They can understand a thing, so they're not Mutant Zombies. Again, it's it's Blade Runner on a ice planet, basically. It's Blade Runner on Hoth. Ah. Except Hoth is somehow both more and less hospitable than this place. And then we throw in the pretentious 90s grimdark stuff. But yeah, be so so we'll hit the shadow run as well. A little bit of shadow run, but the grimdark side of it's more 40k. Because shadow run can be grimdark when it's being stupid and poorly written, like fifth edition, and parts of third edition, and even some parts of fourth edition, and a lot of first and second. Also, they just left this guy behind, because... Yeah. What? Ash 393! Also, yay! So now they're down to just three people. The Nazi, the Jamaican, and our main character. Also, there was supposed to be a truck there or something? Uh, and he lost the bow? or didn't? Or, no, there's the bow. I mean, what are you guys worried about? It's metal. I mean, slipping on ice. I mean, that is the only thing I'd be worried about. But I was going to point out, not that's not the issue. Like, Fra like they don't know like, if the metal's fragile like, or not. Like, here's the thing: it's 300 years, but in the cold, without any real good moisture, you know, depending on the environment, that metal's probably at worst brittle. And he made it to the other end. 
So which one do you think is going to die? It's usually the last one, so I guess the crazy chuck. But she hasn't quoted Mein Kampf enough. Uh, yeah. Where? You figure the best way to crawl get across this would be is crawling on it to help disperse your Yeah, it would be. Also, of course, we get a line about where's the badass bitch with the big ass balls now? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, Tix can't do it because he she's carry a fucking machine gun. So, I mean, they can just slide it in front of them. Also, she's got a laser. It's got snow in the barrel. <laughs> oh, that that that's. I'm pretty sure that's. It, depending on how that gun works, that's either really bad or just mild inconvenience in the first salvo. <gasps> Glow and devil eyes. I will find out in a minute. Also, I want to point out that she was entirely right about the fact that uh... So, yeah. Let's start. She, she's got nice double devil dog. Two, uh... I want to point out that his using a sword against the, the mutated humanoid proved to basically do jack and shit. It just knocked it down for a bit. And they're now in a dead zone where all their fancy laser guns don't work. So they didn't bring a traditional handgun? No, no, they had them on the truck, remember? Oh. That blew up. Oh, yeah. So... The leader was smart enough to remember to bring actual good guns. Because he understood that we're going to eventually end up in the dead zone. And the dead zone means uh, no energy guns. And now they have no energy shotgun, which I don't know how that works, because we never saw it fire. Also, we found one of your friends. He was a spot on the father and a friend. Well, he's definitely a Marine. And that's why they call, she's calling the mule. I thought you were joking about the, um... No, I wasn't. But... 
she literally quotes Mein Kampf at them about how it's going to save humanity, racial purity, and she's unironically saying it around a black character. Spoken like a true Aaron. So, they're arguing whether it was an atomic bomb or an asteroid hit. Also, I guess it wasn't even that you believe the news or... So they're calling it a nuclear winter. Course. Also, is she blaming the mules for this? And then she goes back to quoting Mein Kampf. Fucker woman is just insane. How does she pass against I guess the equivalent of a marine boot camp? Uh because of the apocalypse, so they don't give a shit about psychosis. They kinda need bodies. Also it's America, so they don't care about psychosis. Answer? Uh, two. That, th those are your two answers. I'm about to say a third answer. Also there's a marine, so the crazier the better. It looks more like an atomic bomb hit. I mean, yeah, because if the asteroid hit, there would be an asteroid there. Or parts of it. But then again, that's the thing. We don't see the crater, so we can't say which way or another. And that would just cost very little. I mean, it would cost a decent bit of special effects. But then again, we waste time on the special effects with all these guns and other craziness. When you could just, you know... <sighs> Why the fuck would you punch him? Crazy. It's like, if I didn't keep you alive, you know I could kill you, right? She's also the dumbass that was like, oh, I don't believe you in the electromagnetic field. And then he turns out to be right and she doesn't even acknowledge it. I mean, she was right about the fact that what's the knife gonna do, but that's just because the they wanted to have that jump scare moment and they didn't really think about it. No, Jamaican guy, don't. Also, we got this really dumb issue with the fact that she's quoting Mein Kampf and she's quoting it about robots because the robots are the problem. We have to exterminate them all. We have to exterminate all the mules because they can't reproduce and they'll take us over. Uh, and other crazy. It's just. Um, it's a thing. He's got yellow eyes. And he decided not to get uh, back oh, up. Oh, 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 yeah, he's dead. Jamaican guy, no! Oh, no! And he decided not to have backup because... Well, the others didn't catch up to him because he ran off too quickly. Plus, he was the person who up the team, so... Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't remember any of their names except for Kix and Bishop. And Bishop is because it's so stereotypical, and Kix it's because... Well, he's a person who quotes Minecraft all, all the time. Yeah, I mean, the moment you start quoting Mein Kampf and trying to claim that Hitler's a prophet, even if you're trying to say it's some context about robots, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your context is. You're still quoting Mein Kampf. That doesn't matter what context. Don't quote Mein Kampf. There's simple things you should never do. That this pretty much the last likable character in this in this movie. I mean, Bishop 
you can't really consider likable because he's a drug addict who freaked out after his wife died and didn't try you know get revenge or anything and basically being a drug addict for five years for no real reason Kix is a racist and a Nazi because we have to we have to clarify that it's the both those things because she's a Nazi but she's also a racist because she has no problem with the black character she's racist against other people like the and she's a Nazi as well which is really stupid like what the fuck is this why would you make a character I, I fucking they and besides that of course we got the robots which are I guess evil maybe but they also fish and that robot's got his necklace Okay, so wait. It's kind of hard to show. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Alpha Mike Foxtrot. Addy, wait. Adios, mother. Okay, wait, wait. So you're calling him washed up for missing a shot at 10 meters with a bow and arrow. After he's been. And you're like, oh, he's washed up. I'm going to bleed him dry and try and murder him. What the fuck is wrong with you? Also, she doesn't have any gene mods. He does. And also, that's another that thing. She's racist because gene mods. He's gonna cut off her fingers? Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, he broke her. Why didn't you just murder her? Like, Yeah, she's actually. Yeah, he's she's actually she's, she's crazy, and she's also blaming him for the death. Like, okay, yeah, but you're also a crazy bitch that just opened fire, and turns out that your opening fire did nothing. Because, oh yeah, you'd still have to go out and investigate after blowing up that area, and when you went to investigate, you'd find, guess what? nothing and then the guy would have been pulled under the wild men still would have happened because even if you congratulations you also disobeyed direct orders also so i have the right to kill you now yeah also for some reason in the mag in the zone that cancels out uh laser guns doesn't cancel out normal technology just laser guns I guess uh, there are I'm going, bears I'm going and used to say bears. high technology. Yeah, but the point. Well, I'm just going to say it's laser guns because they still have the ability to communicate and stuff. So I'm just saying laser guns. We have bears and moose and other things, meaning for all that stuff to survive down here, it has to be much warmer here than it has to be in the rest of that wasteland. Also with the trees and stuff, which again brings up the problem of how. Like, we aren't given enough knowledge on the setting. And crazy Nazi ran off. And Bishop is gonna just climb up without any gear. Up this ice wall. Cause this because this is the make him be badass. Ring, man. Avalanche on an ice wall.
Well, I mean, yeah. Also, he's got the shotgun still. Even though that doesn't work in the dead zone. And now... Weirdness. Because he's clearly just having a delusion after being buried in all that ice that he's murdering all these robots that are also alive because they're androids slash cyborgs slash these things don't make sense. Are they replicants or are they just pure robots? I'm going to go with androids. Are they're, they're, yeah, which are replicants and stuff. Also, there's his daughter, I guess. Even though the little girl doesn't look anything like the woman or him. And then he's being dug out by... Yay! Snowshoes! Ow! It went through his... Uh, wow! So, not only did the blade not help him against the creature, it fucked up his leg as well. So, he's been doubly fucked by the freaking that fucking knife of his. And he's saved by random snowshoe person. And we saw the Northern Lights, which again, makes no sense because that's not... You can't be like, it's a, oh, it's a magnetic... That's not how... That's not how things work. I... Well. That's the... Uh, yeah. And then hey, random... And then turn... Uh, a not Nazi. And then she <laughs> rubs against him to keep him warm. So, on the downside, stabbed yourself in the leg because of your own stupidity. On the other downside, all the people that trusted you are dead. Except for the Nazi, which he didn't trust you in the first place. On the worst side, that's supposed to be the same guy, which it is. It's just that he's got facial hair in the other shot. It's, uh... Uh, oh, and it's a recording of their marriage vows. Uh, that's what's on the necklace. Okay. And he's now being snuggled by an egg one. Because, yeah, of course. Because it has to get as cheesy 90s slash 80s as possible. While being edgy and grimdog. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. And wait, and then we get the same actress for a kiss. When is he going to realize that it- there we go, now it's back to her. I like how he took some- it took him a good solid minute to realize- wait, that's not my beautiful wife. Like, like you just said, she just, you just got buried in snow, so he doesn't know what's going on. I can feel that. Well, I guess that's accurate to how sex is with some guys. Uh, yeah. I'm on a stopwatch. Why would you ever take off the things that keep you warm in the ice apocalypse? Actually, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, you want to keep yourself as warm as possible. You want to keep your thermal temperatures up. And she's yeah, just walking. But, and she's yeah, a, but yeah, but frozen clothing does not keep you warm. I mean, fair, but her clothing wasn't really frozen. Also, of course, she's walking around just in her panties and a uh, wife beater shirt. Of course. She doesn't have long johns, just panties, because it has to be sexy. I know. Yep. This is a Queenix. 
I talk about the. I talk about why she swooped the dude. Also, his clothes are not at all good for cool temperatures. I think he's dead. Yep. Also, it's a garage of some sorts because there's cars. So, it turns out that there are, I guess, Native Americans living in the dead zone. So that means she has the ability to live out here in the dead zone, which means she has to be able to get the proper amount of nutrients and survive. Mm -hmm. But if she's living by herself, then that means nothing. So, and there's Quanic, which implies that there's other people around here. Again, this apocalypse is really inconsistent. Because at the beginning of party thinking, okay, dead zone, humans can't survive. More well, than they can't survive apocalypse. anywhere, and the dead zone's just... Oh, it's where the magnets from the uh, meteorite hit. And it, I guess it's trying to go off the idea that uh, nukes create an EMP blast. But the EMP blast fades. Yeah, so there's no excuse for that because... Ghosts have a soul. This thing doesn't. Okay, that that's a response. The robots kill the most. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, wait, why did he take his bow and arrow? He's the only weapon. Well, the only well weapon he got he lost in the snow. Was the, oh, the, right. Or broken, probably. Also, this guy's crazy because he lives in the dead zone, I guess. And also, uh. Uh. How are you? You don't look like a dude. He is a sex robot? I think he is a sex robot. I think it is. Or just a woman that likes to walk around naked inside the warm house. Which is weird, but not the weirdest thing. Also... Yeah. Another ass shot, because of course. And... Hot lemonade? What? What? <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got sexy lady walking around lingerie. Cause again, drink. I think even he's looking at it like, 
Oh, that's milk? Wait, but it's so pale. What is it, rotten milk? Oh, brush milk. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's uncomfortable. You. Man, that's what they're called. No, it's just they're here. You. Also, that's your husband, and he prefers blondes because he's German. Again, we're getting this weird mind comp racism coming back again. And she was born. I guess the humanoids found a way to breed? Wow! Even more racism! We're just adding all the racism to this. She's not annoyed. Also, that, so, sh her milk was used for the milk for the stuff and cookies. That's just, um, uncomfortable. And did it crash for everybody else, too? Hello? Guys. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Just my internet derping on me. Ran in the middle of the weird, weird ass shit that this movie's done. Uh, why did press milk? What the fuck is wrong with you, film director? Also, she's not annoyed. You're a rogue hu- He's a- I, Is she a rogue robot? I don't know. How do you tell the fucking difference? If this next one's gonna look that real. Uh... Um, don't- Oh, I think you disconnected. Yeah, I did. What the fuck did I just miss? He just playing why he ran away from the military. I can say why. Because they're fucking insane, and he's insane too, and he has a woman making breast milk.
Oh yeah, so basically these two were allies for who and friends, but he went crazy slash said fuck this. Him the general were pretty much comrades and stuff. And wait, yeah, he's being promoted to commander. And yeah, I, I got that. If, I'm just trying to. Huh? Is the girl a robot or is she not? And also, he's talking about training her. Like that's creepy in several ways. Like just so many ways that I don't even know where to begin. Like my. At least he does care about her, but it's still creepy as shit, dude. There's like a 30 age year gap between the two of you, and that makes it super creepy. And the breast milk cookies and the drinking the breast milk, both really, really creepy. Like, super creepy. I. And this just gives me more creeps that she's just a robot, and she was just walking around in her underwear, because of course, that that's what... Which again points to a robot, but at the same time, she's... And they can mutate to grow teeth and other things. So, oh, these replicants make no sense. Nope. These robots make no sense, and we have a weird, uh, maybe robot woman, maybe not robot woman, who he's talking about putting in a pleasure palace because he's an ass. Because Bishop's an ass too. The Nazis ran off somewhere, we don't know. We have random racism, because racism. But right now, the only hero of the story is is the Indian woman, the Native American woman. Yes. But uh, and sorry, Native American woman. Sorry. Shoot her. Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Don't let her hurt my man. Shoot Nick's in the fucking head already! She's a dangerous liability, and... Why didn't you shoot her before- oh! Oh! Uh, no, no, you don't get to say stay down Nazi bitch because your own stupidity just got this old dude who willingly risked his life to save you killed because you were too stupid to take the shot on the fucking Nazi. Not a figurative Nazi, a literal Nazi. And yeah, he's a creepy dude. He's a fucking creepy weirdo that trained a woman from whatever age, for whatever purpose. He's alive? He even... Oh, poor Palmer. Uh, no, my cough oh, saved her. My cough. Ah, that's so retarded. That, ah, I hate it. I hate it so much. How did the bullet not penetrate the book? Shoot I'm her in the yeah. goddamn head. Why did you shoot her in the goddamn head? Wait. It was a what? bad plan anyways? Wait. Is the robot teaming up with... Okay, we also killed the sympathetic robot woman that was just... Or normal woman that was just trained. Like... Again, she's not a bad person. She's just been trained by a creepy dude. Who is a good guy, but he's just fucking creepy and weird. Like, oh, the robot! So, the only Nazi people left are both... Up. Yeah, she's dead. And let's see, is she going to bleed red or black blood? Because that's how we tell if they're robot humans. And X is teamed up with the robot? Wait, so she teamed up with the robot? the fuck? Also, the fucking Nazi is saved by Mein Kampf and is saving his life. This is... Oh, this is so fucked up. No, I'm just... No, that should not be how you handle this. And now she's finally died. God... 
That's fucking messed up. Like, messed up on so many levels. Rats aren't hatched. Yes, your blood color is really different. Black yes. and red are drastically different. You could say, don't we both bleed? If you want to be cliche. I, this is just trying to do the whole, don't we both bleed cliche. Your heart's in pain? Let me have a look. I can't take the playback control. I wanted to see how much time we had left on this. Uh, he just ripped out her fucking heart. He cali oh. the Nazi. <laughs> Again, so the likable persons are the Native American woman. Slightly creepy guy. And even then, he's fucking creepy and weird and a pedo. Not really a pedo, but just fucking weird. Like, ew. Makes me uncomfortable. And I think I lost the internet connection again. Alright. Uh, just, just how the fuck. What the fuck are you overheating? Okay. Okay, whatever. whatever. We have too few likable characters in this. And somehow the few good characters are all basically dead except for one. And Bishop of course is going crazy because he's crazy for good reason. Also, we never saw if that woman was bleeding red blood or black blood, did we? The, uh, which one? The weird sex slave slash wife. I don't think we ever saw that bleed at all. Yeah, which again is the problem because that doesn't. That basically leads us to the problem of was she a robot or not? That child actor cannot act. Okay, yep, robot. I just... And the robots are quoting about God and stuff. Aren't we uh, like... Okay, yeah, of course we are getting that. Of course, uh, yeah. Here's the big final act twist. 
He just said he didn't kill her. What, what the fuck? I like how he's like, why'd you kill my wife? I just said I didn't. Are you, are you stupid? Were you not paying attention to the... So they can have kids. The wife kept it a secret for a very long time. So they killed the wife because they found a way to reproduce. High command stepped in. Okay, I want to point out these things can survive in the fucking ice cold weather without any issue. They're basically humanity 2.0 in pretty much every way. And so they're like, oh, the robots can reproduce. Let's go to the lab where they're kept and kill as many of them as possible. Oh, I get it. So High Command basically played the one robot attacking guy first and then had all the other guys come in. Yeah, okay, so, and then they kill all the doctors. But wait, that makes me have a question. So... When the robots, uh, when the robots have, uh, kids, the kids look human. They don't look like the robots. That's retarded. Why don't they look like robots? Why do they look like just normal humans? Why do some of the robots look like just normal humans? Why do some of them not? I get it's like the pleasure versus the worker models, but why don't they all just look like robots? That's... Because... And when they reproduce, they always just look human? It's... What? Wait a second, so... Why did How? the commander well, send no. Bishop to... Because he's to trying to... Kid if he's trying to kill the kid in the beginning... simple. The commander lied to him about the baby being alive. And he probably put a tracker in Bishop. And if he didn't put a tracker in Bishop, he's just hoping that Bishop kills the guy. Or he's just trying to wipe out one or both of them at the same time. Loose ends. Oh, wait. Oh, and then the wife re-recorded over the wedding message. Okay, that that's actually... A clever plot thing. That's actually smart. They established that that necklace recorded their wedding day and has the ability to do that. And she recorded over it. They actually set something up and did it cleverly. But let's give them a round of applause, guys. They did something smart. They deserve it. Yeah. yeah. They did one thing smart. They, they do deserve credit for at least getting one thing that's clever as an idea. A clock was a clock is white twice a day. A clock is white twice a day. <laughs> tie, tie. I am not right, rewarding right. racism in this. Huh? I'm not rewarding racism in this. We're not playing slasher flick. At some point, we'll run slasher flick, and then I'll reward racism. But only for one session, and then no more. As all good RPG sites, you always need to reward racism one session. And then never acknowledge that happened, or make a joke about we're no longer rewarding it. They can breed, honey! They can breed! That's literally his daughter! Not our daughter. Our daughter's dead! I got shot in the womb! I can tell you 100% that that is a dead baby! What? Being shot in the womb would kill the baby? Almost like you get shot in the goddamn womb? Gee, who would have guessed? <sighs> Seriously, though.
I guess that was his daughter then. Yeah, the robot's daughter. called California. The wildfires make it to their seasons. I was about to say, actually I was about to say Hawaii, but... I mean, no, I'm pretty sure it's gonna... Because they're in Arizona, they can't get to Hawaii. It has to be reasonable. So, wait, she hid inside your DNA the ability to go to the west and find the place which is safe. Because he knew, because she knew if they found out, they probably would kill her. She didn't know, didn't know this though. Or maybe the, or maybe the general did discover it, and, and that's why he wants to kill her. Selena so. God, this child actor is really bad. Also, so they're in Arizona, so I guess that's supposed to represent the mountains they're going to have to cross over. So they, 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 they are just, they're meat people that they're treating like, oh my god, this society, society is so stupid. So they're gonna have to go through the, the mountains. Uh, is that soup? Okay. I think so. What did they make the soup from? Also, if you make bio robots that need to eat and feed and all that other stuff, how are they effective at all? I'm sorry, these robots are just garbage. It's just you and me now, Mara. Just you and me. All the love on the ice. So, I'm guessing the commander just wanted to kill off Shepard, or was hoping that Shepard's rage would let him murder the shit out of the guy without any issues. Those are my only two guesses of why he sent the... Dude, you know, either kill somebody... One of those makes sense because it's relying on the dude's rage to, excuse me, propel him. And the other is just, why not just murder him? Just say he was going on a psychotic break. This final act. 
this deliverance. I give up everything I ever hoped to be. Winter's dream accomplished. Ash's body is wrapped and ready. Send in the extraction team. Well done, Spartan. What the? This is God. This is so nineties. God, God, it's like, team I'm gonna die a thousand. Back. I die a thousand times. Kidding. No, you almost only died three times. Also, where's the Native American girl? Just say there isn't one. Bomb. Wait, did you really pull a grenade? Wait, oh my god, the hologram is moving. Yes, that's so stupid. Oh god. God, it's still moving. That's so dumb. Uh, if there's enough resources to support a population of your size. Also, wait, wait, wait. Why would you make clones that need to eat and other things? Why not just build normal fucking robots? Because they're dumb. That they left behind? I think it is. I th I think it is. He's still alive. Yeah. And apparently, bought back up. He brought. He brought. He teamed up the with Native the Native Americans. He Ooh, Custer's last stand. 
I want to point out that that means that in this setting, Native Americans have really sprung back because they're surviving in this. To be fair, it makes sense because, you know, there's a lot of Native American culture that would really easily be able to survive in something like this. And this is the fact that you can fish here because there's ice fishing. Oh, also, another guns work. Yes! Yeah. Because they're in the dead zone! Yeah! And see, but it's not advanced technology, it's just that. They have traditional rifles. And he just dropped a grenade into the pit. To, to make sure they separate forever. Uh, yeah, they don't have... And they're using lever actions. That's like very... Said, this, this is literally Cowboys and Indians, where the Cowboys lose. How is there an Arizona Federation? How did the U.S. government fall apart so there was only a federation from... It is that guy! Holy shit! Okay, I... That's actually kind of awesome. It's like, oh yeah, I'm back. But where's the girl? Like... Also, that means the... So, the Native Americans have been able to support a population for the last 300 years in the ice. That's actually... That probably that's means easy. that there's probably... The victors. That, that makes me have many questions about the setting. Like, again... Uh, also, again... Yeah, okay. It's a group of dudes. Oh, then there's the robots. Thank you, my love. At the top? Fight him till hell freezes over, then fight him on ice. Cause that's edgy and cool sound. Yeah. Paul should do Joey still there, watch this. Uh just, just watch the credits for a second. Uh and Yeah. Yeah, that was Yeah, it's exactly as bad as you thought it would be. Yeah. How come we have one good movie and one movie which questions everything we know about life? No, 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 no. Well, this one was picked on purpose. Silence, we didn't know it was going to be bad. Like, Bird Box was bad in execution, good in design. This, Silence was bad in execution and in design. And then, this was, I knew it was a trash fire going in, and I'm like, Let's finally watch this trash fire because I know it's awful. It's got quoting Mein Kampf. It's got a Nazi woman. It's got racism on every front. It sounds like a 90s movie. It's got this weird environmentalism and something about maybe we nuked ourselves. Maybe a meteorite hit and caused the Ice Age that's been around for 300 years, except that's not how nuclear winter would work. Oh, th th that's the one that really bugs me. Yeah, uh, but yeah, guys, thanks, and that was, uh, yeah, 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 that was, that was awful, that, that's 100% as awful as I've heard it was, and pretty much knew it was based on implications, it was just as bad as I thought, and in some ways worse, uh, the woman quoting Nazism, I expected there to be more Nazi quoting, there was less, which I think is a good thing, 
but when your positive qualities are not as much Nazism as you thought versus uh, I don't know any number of things And I think my internet derped again. Yeah, it did. Yay. I don't know why it keeps overheating. Uh. Uh. <sighs> oh, that's annoying. Let's get the final thoughts of everybody else first. We'll call it. Good night. Good night, Gary. Yep. Final thoughts? Uh, yeah. Yep, exactly. Uh, Gary, it could have been worse. So I could have, uh, kick could have been proven right. Somehow, yeah, which would have been way worse. The the fact that, she was, the fact that she was proven right about the knife. I mean, to be the fact that she was proven right about the knife, she was the sole survivor, and she was right about the fact that if she'd been in charge, probably less people would have died. Yet, at the same time, the people, you know, like, yes, but she'd be alive, which is, it's so bad, and it, it's painfully bad at that. Because it wants to... It's just like in Finite, it's trying to say something very clearly, but it doesn't know what it's trying to say. It's trying to be edgy about like, oh, when hell freezes over, you fight in the ice. It's trying to be edgy, cool guy thing. Also, that's just such a 90s line. Hmm. They. You know, it was worse than Infini, we can safely say that. Because Infini, though it had no idea what the fuck it was doing with its idea, or its ideas, it was stupid in a different way. An equally bad way. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. But there we go. We just suffered through that. Guys. And, yeah. and our reward is next time mm -hmm. a good movie. Yep. And by yeah. good movie, I mean, uh,. We're going to watch the Netflix reboot series. Okay. Because <laughs> that, cause that's bad. Good night. Night, night. Right. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yay. And despite internet issues and other stuff, we really didn't much miss on audience. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to tune in around for other things next time. Toodles.